So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our sample painting and we're gonna use it as an inspiration for our painting. So we're gonna squint at the painting, we're gonna notice that here and here and here are some of our darkest darks. And that's where we're gonna start. When we paint, we paint from dark to light. And then when we blend, we blend from light to dark. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with a medium-sized brush. I'm going to dip my brush slightly in the liquid to just wet the brush. See how it just wets the brush? Now I'm gonna take that wet brush and I'm gonna put it in my darkest paint. And do you see how I kind of smooth out that paint? This is one of those things you just have to practice. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna mark all my darkest dark areas. The area inside the sphere, but not directly on the outline. The area inside the cylinder, but not directly at the end. The area underneath where I'm showing I'm gonna have a cast shadow. This is a process that takes a little time and a little patience, but it really is the fun of painting. Just relaxing and enjoying. Now I'm gonna take a bigger brush and I'm gonna work all the areas in the background. Doesn't have to be perfect yet. That's gonna come out much later. I'm gonna to try to get close to the edges, even if I don't hit the edges exactly. And now I'm gonna move into the next stage, which is my next darks. So they're a little bit lighter than those first darks. I'm just gonna add them to the edges of my last dark. Just gonna move along slowly, methodically. So when I hit about uh, number six or five on my scale here, I'm gonna put in the edge of my cylinder. See, it really isn't as dark as everything around it. That's so important. Again here, the reflective light, it's probably more like a five. And that'll really make it pop out. I'm gonna add a little four afterwards. The important thing at this stage is not to get too attached to anything. Everything's gonna change a little bit. There's always gonna be mistakes made. You always can change it as you're going. That's one of the nice things about oil paints is they stay wet for a long period of time. You're gonna be able to change things many times during the process. See how my cast shadow is getting lighter and lighter but still staying on the dark side? Really trying to make sure I cover the entire canvas. And now we're gonna put in our lights. I'm going to take my rag. I'm just gonna clean off my brushes so I get some real clean brushes to put my lights on. I'm gonna stick my brush in some liquid. Oh, that's great, perfect. And I'm just gonna start Remember, these aren't going to be my lightest lights yet. I've still got to do that, but this is going to be quite light. And then we're going to take a little round. Just use a mid-tone for right now. And we'll be able to darken that up later or lighten it up, the case may be, for our edge here. There we have it, our first step towards creating a painting. Now we're gonna learn about blending.